My name is Vika and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use Notion as a beginner. I've been using Notion since 2019 and I have not not used it even for a day. I have all of my work in there, my language learning stuff there. Basically my whole life is in Notion. If somebody decides to hack me or Notion just suddenly stops existing, I will stop existing. I've been creating Notion templates for over a year now and over 2000 people are using my templates and the oof stop. I hope you enjoyed this video, okay? Cheers! But first, what is Notion? Notion is like a big place where you can store all of your information, work, your university, your studies, your language learning, everything you can think of, you can track it in Notion, okay? What else I wanted to say? It's especially useful if you hate having like hundreds of planners around and just want to concentrate all of your work in one place. Create a system and just go with it. So yeah, I'm tired of talking, let's just go. So uh, I have already created a simple template that you can just copy and paste. You can duplicate it in the link in bio. But I'm going to show you everything and how to create it yourself. First things first, what is a database? Think of a database like of a storage room where you can store the similar information in one place. Each database has six views. The table view, board view, gallery list, calendar and timeline view. For each type of information, for example, we are going to create a task hub, your to-do list. For that, we need to create a table view. Just click there. Create a new table. We created a task hub. Okay. Then you can see columns, right? name tags it's called properties properties are things that categorize your information okay it could be a text a number an option from a list of tags multi-select and so on you can just go on and see them all but uh we will choose the select one basically you create a list of options for you to choose to choose from for example, we need to delete this first. Delete property, yes. Um, go on and create this one. What task can be like a personal, a work, university one. I'm sorry, it's a helicopter. There is an ambulance, you know. There was a prime minister that was shot. It can get very loud. So for each task that you will create, for example, do my dishes. I need to do that actually. You can choose from the tags which type of task that is, the personal or work or uni. Uh, then we will create the deadline. For example, a due date. I love the new AI features on Notion that just give you the suggestions right away. Okay, so the due date and status. Here you are. Uh, we can also add the, not also, it's important, okay? A checkbox whether it's done or not and make it smaller move it to the front and voila we'll add the dates here where I need, when do i need to do all these things in databases you can filter out the information for example we can create a filter that will filter out all of the tasks that are already done go to filters click uh, on your property that you need to so here we click on checked and voila, every time you click on this checkbox, the task disappears. Okay, like it doesn't actually disappear, but uh, when you turn off the filter, it will appear again. It's just for you to make it cleaner. You can also sort it by the due date. The first task will be shown that is due sooner. And by status too, and tags. For example, if you wanna see only the work-related tasks, you can do that. From your task hub, you can create a calendar view. So we go and create and choose and find the calendar view. You're looking for the task hub that you have just created and you can see all of your tasks in the calendar view. When you click on the three dots above and go to properties, you can choose which properties you want to show or hide. For example, we can choose these ones tags and voila you can see the categorized tasks and just click on for example whether they are done or not you can create this thing with a meal planner or a fitness log for example just go on create a table for the meal planner tags your dates whatever properties you want create a new calendar view and then 
you will be able to see your meal plan during the week okay just don't forget to show the properties that you need there is a cool thing called a button okay you search for it in the menu you click on it then you click on add action and for example insert blocks but you can create a journal out of this thing Mm -hmm. The button is a thing that allows you to uh, create templates that you, you will use for things that you plan the most. Basic example is a journal where you can write down your prompts every single day. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We created a new button and here you can just create whatever prompts that you need. For example, I don't know uh, how am I feeling today, what's on my mind, positive information, you know, all this stuff. Uh, you name the button, a new day. I click done and voila when you click on it you have a new journal prompt and now i'm going to show you how to use the gallery view the gallery view is basically a view where you can put the images you can like put the images everywhere but this is where it is seen the best it's perfect for a goal tracker for example you add all of the properties that you need like a goal your target goal five kilometers current is uh, a half of it and put on the deadline. I don't know, like, I'm gonna be able to do it all in, in five years, whatever. Then formulas. I'm going to show you how to create a simple formula for a goal progress. So basically you go on to create a property, you search for formula, go to edit, uh, what I love recently about Notion is that they have just simplified the creation of formulas. So you're very lucky if you're only starting out to calculate your progress in anything. For this formula, you need to have two numbers, current one and the goal one. Okay, go on and from the list, you will be able to choose your numbers. Then you multiply this thing by a hundred uh, and a hundred again. Okay and go to number format choose percent and the ring here now voilà, we have two formulas like that in gallery view it's all the same you can show pictures either in the cover either by adding them here in the main page uh you can choose the way it is shown actually go to the three dots above go to layout uh card preview page cover or page content okay it's empty because we don't have any image inside there but if we go and add for example something uh, in here it will show us this picture that we put in inside okay or you can choose none and it will be just like little blocks you can choose also the size small medium large you can also hide or show properties that you need. I'm going to show you a simple financial planner that you can also make. Here the layout is card size small, card preview none, there is no image, right? And the only property that are shown, that we have even, is a budget and name, okay? You can uh, add an icon, whatever you want. Here in the table database of expenses, you can track your expenses, write down the amount in the property with numbers you can choose what type of number to show you have lots of currency here percent number with commas so just the number for example we're going to choose the euro and the next property that i wanted to show you is relation relation is just a way to relate to databases okay go on create a new relation uh link into a database which one do we want we want the budget add relation and voila whatever you have in your budget whatever properties whatever pages you have in your budget they will be shown in expenses for example uh, strawberries go to the category of uh, food here we have food it is useful to just track the uh, certain categories that you don't want to write every single time. For example, I bought the olive oil today. I don't want to write every single time that it's food. You just put the property that you can choose from the list. Now I'm going to show you how to create a simple, very simple habit tracker. You just go on, choose the table view that we already know, create a new table, write down a habit tracker, a name of the habit, here the name will be an empty property you can just hide it uh you can choose the date 
uh, and check boxes. In each check box, you write down the name of the habit that you want to pursue. Uh, for example, we'll choose two habits, whatever it is. Um, and you choose the date today and just go on. Okay. Like, and just check your habits. That's all, it's very simple. Uh, in the travel planner, it's also a gallery view. Create a new gallery, like a travel planner again. We go on, create new properties called, for example, dates, dates of the trip. You can choose, for example, from this date and end date. Here, Notion just suggests you everything that you could use. For example, the budget, also the budget, choose the currency that you need, for example, I don't know, this number, we're going to Nice, no, we're going to Lyon, you can choose from the cover, uh, in the three dots above, you just go out to layout once again, change it to page cover, and show the properties that you need, it's very simple once again, you can transform it into the list view. Uh, the list view is just a list of all of the pages that you have in your database. Okay, it's very simple. You can also show the properties that you need or hide that you don't need and sort them out, filter them out. That's all. It's just a list. Another database is a timeline. I don't really use it because I don't find it very comfortable. If you have a project and you have different tasks that you need to see on the timeline, just make sure that in each page you write down the, the dates with the end date and you will see it on the timeline. For a simple list of things, you can just go on and create a toggle list. My morning routine. Just go on there, create a point, wash my face, uh, brush my teeth, whatever. I do all of that without reminding myself, but like, keep up with me, stay with me, bear with me. You can change the color too. Go on, experiment with the colors. Voila, here it is. You can change the boldness of the text, make it italic. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> yeah. In the next videos, I'll be showing you how to make your notion more aesthetic, so don't miss out on that. And I will show you how to create this menu. And yeah, that's all for today. You can watch my other videos where I'm showing you my personal templates that I'm using every single day. You can go to my shop. There are lots of helpful templates, especially for beginners. And if you already know some basics and just don't want to create all of the complex pages yourself. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing notion template. You can download this free template down below and customize it to your own choice and don't forget about the next videos that i'm going to post about notion i hope to see you soon bye